So I'm going to absolutely murder all of your social anxiety using only math. Math made possible your phone, computer and house. So why not use it to kaboom your social anxiety forever? You also become more confident than any of your peers and I'll save you the painful months of trial and error and all of the gaffes that I had to endure to find all of this stuff out. And I'll also give you an extra step that is guaranteed to eliminate that social anxiety forever. So take out a calculator, relax and let's get into the fun stuff. Step 1. So you have social anxiety when you interact with strangers, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. Now I'm assuming you live in a city or otherwise a big place with lots of strangers. Well in that case you've got nothing to fear. Try to remember as many faces of strangers you interacted with during the last month. To be honest I would bet my left bow that that number is zero. But still. Anyways, once you have that number, divide it by 90. The number of strangers you interact with on a monthly basis. 3 per day multiplied by the days in a month and then multiply everything by 100. The result is the percentage of strangers faces that you can remember. Let's say you remembered only one person which by the way even I can do. Now assuming you aren't some kind of genetic freak, other people are going to get about the same result. You then have 1.11% chance of strangers you talk to remembering your face. Even better now comment your result and see what other people have come it and do the mathematical average of all the comments using this formula to get a more precise number. Listen, if you could take away only one thing from this video it would be that people remember actions not faces. Like literally you could just go up to anybody just like what I used to do when I was bored and younger and say the most vile, disgusting, repulsive stuff ever known to man and they probably wouldn't even remember your face. Ok but what if you're scared to talk to people at school, work or just people that already remember your face because I can guarantee that you just freeze in fear like an ice cube without step 2. Step 2. So you get social anxiety with talking to people that know your face. You fear messing something up, people seeing you, laughing and calling you names for the next 6 months until you dissolve into a puddle of tears, right? Now think about how many times per week you mess up socially. Maybe you get the wrong name of an acquaintance or you accidentally make another guy angry or you say something embarrassing or awkward. Let's be generous and say that it happens once a week even though if you talk to lots of people like I do that number will be closer to 5 or 6 per week. Let's call this number T. Now how many people do you know that you talk to or that you semi regularly talk to on a yearly basis? Let's say 60. Now let's call this number P. Divide T by 7 and you get the estimate of social mess ups people like you do per week. Multiply that by 365 and you get the social mess ups per year. Now multiply that by P and and you get the number of mess ups everyone around you has made during the last year. Now how many can you remember? Probably something like 6. So divide that by the total mess ups and multiply everything by 100 and there you have it. The chance that somebody else remembers something stupid you did. Same as before if you want to get a more precise number comment your result and do the math average using this formula. So what do you have to fear? People won't remember the stupid stuff you did and even then if they remember it just like you did because I asked you. Would that change how they treat you? Think about the people that did the mess ups. Do you treat them differently because of it? Do you think about them 24 7? Probably not. Ok so what you're going to do now is that you're going to click off, still get social anxiety and get depressed. If you don't want that listen very carefully to step 3 because this may just change your life. Step 3. Humans suck at improving. 92% of people who set up new year's resolutions are destined to fail. But why is that? Usually people start out strong in the first weeks, never see progress and just give up. Back to their old and depressing life. That's just because they think that progress is linear which is an absolute lie. In reality progress is exponential and when people get stuck in the early stage in the valley of disappointment things suck. 100% effort and zero progress. You know one day you may even look back at this face with a bit of a sense of nostalgia. Sometimes I just think back to when I used to have social anxiety. When I literally had cold sweats when talking to people and just blank out when talking. But I was willing to improve and I just feel nostalgic but also grateful for my younger self for being willing to improve. What you need to understand is that even if I just gave you some extremely powerful 
powerful, logical tools to beat your social anxiety, you're still going to experience social anxiety on an irrational level for the next few weeks. I just want to leave you with some motivation and an action step. Get out of your comfort zone, willing to experience social anxiety for a bit and you will soon stop having it. And while you have it, be grateful for it, because one day you will look back with nostalgia. Anyways, if you found this video useful, please subscribe, it would really just mean the world to me. And if you want to further improve your social anxiety and learn how to talk to strangers, check out this cool video I am going to pop up on screen. Goodbye and take care.